Now, this is the difference between fireproof cladding and not. Now, on this land here, there were two houses. They went up in flames about three months ago. But as you can see, this house is still standing. And that's mainly because it's had cladding, this fireproof cladding. As you can see, the house is very close. You know, and it's, it's held the house intact. But obviously there's gonna be, you know, but the, the things that give way, of course, are the windows because of the heat and things like that, the air conditioner, but the house is still standing. And this is why in Japan, people build these new houses with fireproof cladding. And this is why it's got to be recommended, this is why it's got to be recommended that people use it to save your house and save lives. I'm guessing that the people aren't living in it now, they're gonna get, they're living in somewhere until the house can be repaired but it doesn't have to be rebuilt. So there you go, the difference between not clad, fireproof cladding and uh, burnable cladding. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe if you can, or share. Love you, bye bye.